Hey, this is Justin and we're going to quickly go over a uh, drug calculation tutorial utilizing what we call the hybrid method. This is going to work for any type of bolus medication you'd give in the field or any drugs that you might give as an infusion per minute such as lidocaine or dopamine or dobutamine. This formula was not created by me, it was created by my buddy Charlie. Uh, he's mixed a couple formulas together and published this a few years ago. If you want to check out his website, head over to this website here at medjupros.com. Got some really cool stuff, especially for critical care and flight prep um, and, uh, and ventilatory management classes. Really good stuff. So let's get started. In this case, we're going to, we're going to imagine that we're utilizing Benadryl. Benadryl usually comes 50 milligrams in one ml, so that's what I'm kind of going to work with. And um, we have to have the concentration, and so you can see a picture of it right here, and that's what we're going to work with. So the first thing we're going to do with this hybrid formula is we're going to need to write down what is the desired dose. This is exactly what it says. It's the desired dose. The next we're going to put up here is going to be kilograms. Now this is only going to be utilized if it's a weight-based drug. The next one we're going to put up here is a 60. Only are going to utilize that if this is a medicine that is going to be given per minute, such as dopamine or dobutamine. And the last one we're going to put up there is total volume. And this is the total volume of the actual mixture that we might be withdrawing the medication from or that might already be inside the vial. Then we're going to divide all that by our total drug that is in the solution. Okay, in this case, we're going to assume that maybe we're going to give a 17, work, working with a 17 kilogram patient. Uh, pediatrics uh, are going to be one milligram per kilogram for Benadryl. You know, we could give 25 or 50 for an adult, but we're going to try to make it where we actually need to do some drug calc like we would have to do with a kid. So for a kid, we're gonna go with one milligram per kilogram, and we're gonna say that this kid weighs 17 kilograms. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to plug in our desired dose. In this case, our desired dose is going to be one. Is this a weight-based drug? It is, it's one milligram per kilogram. We said that he weighed 17 kilograms. Are we gonna give this over time, yes or no? We're not going to get it over time. It's going to be a bolus, so we're going to skip that 60. The total volume that you saw in the vial that we just had right there was 1 ml. And we're going to divide that whole thing by the total drug, which is 50 milligrams. We do 1 times 17 times 1 divided by 50 is going to give us 0 0.34. 0 0.34 what? In this case, the drug calculation that we're looking for is what is the volume of fluid that we're going to be delivering. In this case, we're utilizing mLs, so the answer is 0 0.34 mLs. And if you have a 1 mL syringe, it makes it real easy to break that down. Another thing that you can do with this formula is we could take this 1 mL of Benadryl and simply put it in a 10 mL syringe with 9 mLs of normal saline, which would give us a total of 10 mLs of fluid. All we would have to do is change this last one here to a 10. That gives us 1 times 17 times 10 mLs divided by 50, which is going to end up being 170 divided by 50, which is going to equal 3.4 mLs. In this case, if you have a 5 mL or a 10 mL syringe, Maybe it'd be easier for you to give 3.4 mLs than it would to give 0.34 mLs. That is the hybrid formula as, is, as would be used for a bolus medication. Now we're going to jump over to doing the same formula for a drug that we might be giving as an infusion rate. Hence, that's why we call it a hybrid formula because it'll work for both. Okay, in this case, what we're going to use is we're going to use dopamine. Dopamine is a common drug that we have to calculate 
uh, uh, as paramedics out in the field without a pump and we have to do it by eye, but the math part has to be right. While the end part we can kind of guess at how many drips per minute, the dosage and the math part needs to be accurate. So there's lots of places that you can start with dopamine or even dobutamine. And in this case, we're gonna go with five milligrams uh, and we're gonna say that our patient weighs about 150 pounds. So let's go with, uh, we'll go with 70, um, 70 kilograms. And so we're, the dose of dopamine be, is, it, is per minute. So it'd be five micrograms per kilogram per minute. Okay, so let's plug it in. We have our desired dose. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna write five. Is it a weight-based drug? It is, and we said that he was 70 kilograms. Are we giving this over time? We are, which is gonna end up being that we're gonna leave the 60 in there. It's either 60 or nothing. Since we're giving it over time, we're gonna leave the 60 in there. And the last part on, on here is going to be the total volume, and the total volume is where it's gonna get a little unique. We might just put the 10 mLs that we see in the syringe, but that's going to be real hard to drip that into a point where we can actually count it. So instead of using that 10 mLs, we're going to try to get this person to a concentration of 1600 micrograms per milliliter. And the best way to do that with dopamine or even dobutamine, since they're typically mixed the same, would be to put 400 milligrams of dopamine into a 250 mL bag. So in this case, we're gonna put 250 mLs here. Now, we have to be careful because that's 10 mLs that we're putting in there, so we to get our math exactly right, you should take 10 mLs out of that bag and there's only 240 mLs and you're putting 10 milligrams, or you're putting 10 mLs into it. So we're gonna divide this whole thing, we're gonna divide it by how much drug is in the bottle and that we're putting into the bag. And in this case, there's 400 milligrams. But these have to be like terms. The five is in micrograms and the 400 is in milligrams. So how do we get the milligrams to micrograms? We multiply it times a thousand and add three zeros. Now, you might be thinking that that's way too much math to be doing out in the field, but as long as you have this formula, you're gonna have a calculator. This isn't 1992 anymore and nobody's allowed to give you the excuse that, well, you're not always gonna have a calculator out in the field. Yes, you are. Everybody's gonna have a phone, somebody's gonna have a calculator, and if not, you can write it down with pencil. It takes two seconds. So, as we go through the calculator, or as we go through the calculations, I have my calculator right here. This is gonna end up coming out to 5.25 million divided by 400,000. And so when you take five times 70 times 60 times 250, you get 5,250,000 divided by 400,000 gives you 13.125. And again, just like over here, 13.125 what? Well, in this case, it's not gonna be mLs because we're not bolusing this, we're giving it over time. This is gonna come out to drops per minute, okay? This could also be listed as uh, mLs per hour or cc's per hour. But we don't really do that in EMS, so we're gonna focus on the 13.125 drops per minute because we're gonna be counting this out manually. 13.125 drops per minute is gonna be exactly the dose. Well, what is the dose? Remember, the dose is the part that's gonna go in your report, it's gonna go in your documentation. In this case, it's the five times the 70, which is 350 micrograms Per minute. So the dose is 350 micrograms a minute, which is pretty easy, but in order to deliver that, just like over here with the Benadryl, in order to give, in this case, was 17 milligrams, in order to give 17 milligrams, we have to deliver 3.4 mLs. For this guy over here, in order to give him 350 micrograms spaced out evenly over every minute, and to keep doing that every minute, we need to give him 13.125 drops per minute. This is your hybrid formula. And it works for your boluses as well as your infusion rates. Easy as that.